Okay, so every device comes with its own default browser already set up, like Safari on Macs, but let's be honest, it's not always the perfect fit for everyone, and it's not the only option out there. Today, we're shaking things up and challenging the notion that default equals perfect. I'm here to walk you through the five best web browsers, and I'll be covering all their pros and cons. So stick around till the end of the video, because that's when I'll be sharing what I think is the best web browser for you. You definitely don't want to miss out on this jam. I, along with my team, have run speed tests and analyzed core features of all of the web browsers I cover in this video. We always look at the security and privacy features on Offer 2, plus how well they perform in everyday use, because that's what it's all about eventually. Before I start uncovering my top picks, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss out on our latest videos. All right, let's get into it, shall we? I'm starting this selection with Firefox. Now, I've got to give props to this browser. It's been around for 20 years and still holds its own. It may not have Chrome's vast add-on library, but Firefox still boasts plenty, plenty of impressive features. Its user interface scored highly in our review thanks to its simple design and very easy navigation. There's also a cool feature in its context menu, which allows you to take screenshots by simply right-clicking your mouse. It's not something we've seen in other browsers without needing an extension. Those in the United States have the option to opt in to receive in localized search results. Firefox collects city-level location data plus data based on your engagement with the search suggestions, and it uses this information to make those suggestions obviously more relevant to you. I know this may raise privacy concerns, but Firefox assures users that it doesn't collect or share your personal information to tailor those suggestions. In fact, Firefox takes your privacy seriously, and because Mozilla is nonprofit, it doesn't share your data like some other browsers out there. Nudge nudge Google. <laughs> it also blocks sneaky trackers like crypto miners and social media trackers. So you can browse with peace of mind knowing your data isn't being sold to the highest bidder. Plus, it's got some nifty features like data syncing across devices, whether you're switching between your laptop and phone or jumping from work to home, your browsing experience stays very seamless. Now, onto performance. We put Firefox through three speed tests to evaluate its performance. Our results revealed that while it is pretty speedy for everyday tasks like browsing the web, watching videos, and sending emails, it consumes a lot of RAM. This means that if you're someone who tends to have many tabs open at once, you might experience some performance hiccups. So try to be as economical as possible with your open tabs. I know it's difficult, but <laughs> please try. Okay, so I'm moving on to Safari, Apple's default web browser. In the past, it wasn't overly, I wasn't really overly a fan of Safari. However, in recent years, Apple has done a decent job of developing its in-house browser. One notable feature is the ability to easily create a different profile, so you can keep your personal, school, or work-related browsing separate. It also has a sleek, minimalist design that's become synonymous with, with Apple's brand identity. But it's not without its flaws. For example, customization options are a bit limited, and there were fewer options for me to tailor my interface to my liking compared to other browsers in this video. And although you can install most popular extensions like um, Honey and Grammarly, I found that it still needs to catch up in terms of the amount of add-on options compared to competitors, especially those built on Chromium. In more positive news, Safari offers seamless syncing with all your Apple devices thanks to iCloud integration, and you can also sync all your passwords through the Apple Password and Keychain Manager. If you ever upgrade your Mac, you just need to log in iCloud and all your passwords will be there waiting for you. That's very convenient. In regards to user privacy, Safari uses something called intelligent tracking prevention. In case you're unaware of how intelligent tracking prevention works, it essentially blocks cross-site tracking without jeopardizing performance. Safari is known to have less frequent updates, which could leave users vulnerable to security threats. Chrome, for example, gets security updates every two to three weeks, but Safari's updates come between four and six weeks or so. These updates are important because they fix security issues, so keep that in mind. 
If you're a big Apple fan, Safari is a great browser and should satisfy most users, especially thanks to its seamless syncing across Apple devices. But I just can't call it the best browser for Mac at this point. But who knows what the future holds? They may improve a lot and we're going to redo this video next year. Okay. Next, we have Chrome. Who hasn't heard of Chrome, right? It's the most popular browser on the planet. First off, Chrome's got the largest library of extensions out there, making it super versatile. For example, you can find something like LastPass for password management or the Great Suspender for automatically suspending the tabs you aren't using. In Chrome, the design is pretty simple with the web page taking up most of the space. As you open more tabs, Chrome shrinks them to fit which can get a little bit crowded, but I think it's still manageable. When things get too busy, there's a drop-down menu for easy navigation across your tabs. Chrome's context menu offers lots of options too, like translating pages, doing reverse image searches, or sending web pages to other devices. But here's the thing. Google has a bit of a reputation when it comes to privacy, right? Your browsing habits fuel their ad machine, which will alarm you if privacy is high on your priorities. Even if you set the browser to incognito mode, Google's been known to still not respect your privacy. Security-wise, Chrome's got your back with automatic updates and other built-in security features such as safe browsing to flag malicious sites or site isolation to prevent data access between sites. Overall, you're pretty secure against cyber attacks. It's Google you have to watch out for. The company's got to pay the bill somehow, right? So if you use something for free, then probably you're the product or how they say, right? Think about it. Let's talk about Brave, the browser that's all about privacy. And unlike Chrome, it doesn't track your every move online. Brave blocks ads and trackers right out of the gate, so you don't need to install a third-party blocker. It also has this unique ad model that respects your privacy. It analyzes your browsing locally, so it's just between you and your browser, meaning no one else gets a peek at your data. If you opt in to see ads, then Brave offers a cool reward system. By allowing ads, you can earn what's called BAT tokens. Now, you can't use these tokens to buy goods for yourself, but you can use them to tip content creators who have signed up for Brave's initiative. Pretty cool, if you ask me. According to a study by the School of Computer Science and Statistics, Brave ranks the highest in privacy among all major browsers. When you stick to its default settings, Brave doesn't use any identifiers that could allow tracking your location or identity. And it doesn't share your browsing history with any backend servers. Looking at usability, you should quickly get the hang of Brave if you've used other Chromium-based browsers. In terms of speed and performance, Brave is good outperforming Firefox in our tests, but not quite as snappy as Chrome. Though in normal use, Brave was an enjoyable browser to use, and I liked it a lot. Finally, claiming the top spot as the best browser is Vivaldi. Vivaldi earns its place at the top for several reasons, starting with its customizable interface. I love how you can tailor the browser to your liking with endless design options. For example, you can adjust the color scheme and customize your start page. You can even tweak the roundness of corners if that's your thing. But it's not just about looks. It's packed with so many features that it's unlikely you'll need to add any extensions. But in case you do want to add extensions based on Chromium, you can still use all those Chrome-based extensions you love. Privacy and security are another feature that really sets Vivaldi apart. It offers seamless syncing across devices without compromising your privacy. It doesn't collect much data, and it sure doesn't share what little it does collect with third parties. And for those wondering, the data it collects includes a unique user ID, screen resolution, CPU architecture, and anonymized IP address. This means they don't have access to what you type in the browser, the sites you visit, or your downloads. It's either stored locally on your device or encrypted. Vivaldi has a built-in tracker blocker that ends up saving you time and effort. So 
blocker extensions are no longer necessary to prevent web trackers from gathering your data. While Vivaldi shines in almost every benchmark, it may exhibit slightly slower speeds in producing complex visuals. Let me provide some context here. We evaluated Vivaldi's performance across various benchmarks, including Speedometer 2.0, Jetstream 2, and Motion Mark. Our tests showed that Vivaldi tends to use higher RAM, but luckily its hibernating tabs feature can help improve speed. If you're unfamiliar with this addition, let me introduce you to Memory Saver, Vivaldi's latest memory management tool. It automatically puts inactive tabs to sleep, reducing memory usage. What's great is that you can still see these tabs and reload them whenever you want, picking up right where you left off. It's clear that Vivaldi will continue to stand out with its custom customization options, privacy features, and user-center approach. It brings fresh air into the repetitive browser design, and I highly recommend giving Vivaldi a try. And there you have it, our roundup of the top web browsers. Whether you prioritize privacy, customization, or speed, there's a browser out there for you. I'm leaning towards Vivaldi or Brave for their security features, but the choice is yours. Try them out and find the perfect fit for your browsing needs. If you want to learn more about the browsers I mentioned, I've dropped some links to our reviews on CloudWords down in the description box below. And thank you for tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for future updates. And if you have a go-to browser, please share it in the comments below. Until next time, see ya.